So this is a little wanky, so I should take that shit off. It's unnecessary. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aixa. Um, and you're just you're gonna get ready with me today. <laughs> so and I still have my wrap on, so let's just not look like a fool here, right? So I dry my hair with um shirts because it's better for my curls. So we're just gonna tie my hair up for now because it's too much of it to be in my face. So, um, unfortunately, getting ready to go to work. Um, I still don't know what I'm doing to my face. I don't know what I'm wearing. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. I just, I'm winging everything right now. I know, just, get I go. So, we're going to start. I am looking and I can't find it. Mm-hmm. I'm using the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pro, 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 you know what, Pomad, Pomad, Pmad, you know what, we're going to learn that Aixa doesn't know English, Aixa can't talk, Aixa can't read, and we're just going to accept that at this point right now. Where's my spoolie? I need a spoolie. So, I'm going to use the brow pencil from e.l.f., but we're just going to use it for the spoolie. We're just going to take spoolie and run through the brown. I need more coffee in my life. So much better. Okay, so now we're going to take the, the Mora Pro brush in BMX 498. And we're just going to open up the next tame and frame. Just going to dip it in there. I don't want to no more. What songs are you guys listening to right now? Right now, I'm really stuck on the uh, Summer Walker album. Kind of basic, I know. But I'm obsessed with it. So I'm just going to start by shaping the bottom of the brow. And for some reason, this brow looks a little brown. <sighs> so we're just going to face the fact that today is not going to be a good day. Oh, it's looking like a hot mess. But we're just going to keep going, right? Right? We have faith in me. Do we not, guys? We have faith. So let's talk. So right now, I am watching Supernatural. And I've been trying to finish it for forever now. I Finally, I am on season 13 out of 14. So, I am almost there. This eyebrow is not looking pretty. I'm gonna, I'm sorry. I'm taking it off. There's no way. I'm just, I can't. So, we're just gonna use this e.l.f. one. See, this color is a lot better, but it's so waxy. And I don't like it because I feel like it can't, it can't glide. And it's like I have to keep going over it for pigment. And it's really annoying because then the more I go over it, I feel like it's going to yank out one of my um, eyebrow hairs because it's so waxy. It's just not my fave. So we're going to take the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Contour Concealer. This is really good. This is I really like this concealer. So we're just going to take... Mm, a little bit on the back of my hand. This BH Cosmetics brush is number nine. It's like a flat surface brush. And we're just going to clean up the eyebrows. Especially this one, because this one's looking pretty. Uh -huh. So if anyone listens to the Summer Walker album, what's your favorite song? Let me know. Because I really like Fun Girl, but a lot of people tell me they don't like Fun Girl. And I don't understand why. I feel like, okay, okay. I understand it's a little slow and it's like, you know, it's completely different from the rest of the album. 
But it's such, like, if you actually listen to it and, like, give it a chance, it's really good. Just Might with Party Next Door. Oh, let me tell you. Listen, 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 Linda. That song, amazing. A uh, freaking amazing. And then we got, um, let's conceal it. Wow. So I'm starting to think my concealer's a little too dark for me now. Okay, so guys, we're officially saying this right now. Um, today's not my makeup day. <laughs> So I promise, I promise with all my heart and my soul, I know how to do makeup. I promise. We're gonna go into this uh, soft ochre matte paint pot. Um, we're gonna take this on a flat synthetic brush and we're just gonna apply it all over the lid. Wow. So I'm just using this as the primer. Um, so I'm kind of thinking of doing something a bit colorful. I haven't kind of, I haven't really decided how I'm going about it, um, and what I'm doing exactly, but we're going with color today. Okay. So we're going to set it with the Becca Hydro, Hydro Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Okay. And I'm just going to take that on like a fluffier brush. The powder has like this cushion. And it's like bouncy. I like that. It's really cute. I've never seen that on a powder before. And we're just going to... So this powder, when you put it on, it feels a bit wet. I think I put a little bit too much. A little bit too much powder for my eye but I got kind of carried away with the bouncy thing so I'm gonna go in with the um Laura Lee party animal palette and the violet Voss vibes palette like look how freaking fracking cute these colors are <sighs> I'm just staring at my coffee cup I just want you guys to know so that means it's time to sit warm-hearted so I have no idea where to start let's just take a nice little blending brush this one's from Tarte so we're gonna dip into the Violet Voss palette the um, yellow shades called neon just gonna dip into that one Top pigment with that is, and we'll see um, oh wow wow Look at that. So we're just going to place that right into the crease. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to go for a smaller blending brush in a way because I just want to get it into an exact area. This one is from Moda Pro. And it is the BMX 466 shading brush. It's a smaller. And I'm going to take Dranks from the Laura Lee palette. We're just going to put it in a little bit lower, but in the crease. I'm just going to blend that in. So now we are going to cut the crease and we're going to use the Tarte Shape Tape um, in Fair Beige and we're just going to put some of that, a little bit of that on the back of my hand and we're going to take a stretch. We're going to take a fletch, a fletch brush, this should have a name on it. Um, flat synthetic brush and we're going to use it to cut cut decrease so I want to actually
we're gonna take the same brush that we used for the orange and we're gonna actually take it into this shade right here this one's called fanny pack it's like a reddish shade actually and we're gonna put it wow on the out take another brush we're gonna take this one from basic beauty it's an eyeshadow brush and we're going to go in the I think I'm just gonna go in with boombox actually so I'm just gonna tap it right in front of the fanny pack shade I'm just gonna blend this here to blend out the two colors to get rid of any harsh lines and, just blend, and they just blend out so nicely we're gonna actually take the other side of this brush and we're gonna go into awesome which is like this uh, coral shade here and we're just gonna put it right in the front of awesome I mean no no this is awesome <laughs> we're gonna put it right in front of boombox let's do the wink so we're gonna actually do it um we're gonna go back in with the shape tape here take the shape tape again and we're gonna just right there going to use this wet and wild brush that doesn't have a name it just says wet and wild it's like a really small flat angled brush gonna go right into the concealer to take this flat synthetic brush from Tart. We're gonna go into the green from Valley Boss, which is Arabat Arabics, Aerobics, Aerobics, and we're going to press it into the front of the wing. Then we're gonna take the back of this brush and we're going to dip into um, damage control from the um, the party animal palette, which is gonna be this one. We're gonna put it right next to that green. We're going to take a small brush, clean brush, and we're just going to blend it to. To get rid of any harsh lines so we're actually going to take this one from pure cosmetics it's like a double ended brush i took it from an eyeshadow palette actually i take the synthetic part and we're going to dip i'm trying to decide between karaoke and jellies but i think we're going to go with karaoke and we're going to put it oof, yes, yes, on the actual way So then we're gonna take the other end of that clean brush that we took and we're just gonna blend those two out. So we're going to use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. We're going to take the Lily Lashes in the style of Miami and just Take them right up, yeah. Just, just let it dry a little bit. Place it on. I like to look down as I do it. Just place it on top. And then I pull on each direction. 
And then when I had it on, you just push them together. I always say a lash puts everything together. So now I'm going to do the face. So we're going to prime with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm just going to take a little bit on the finger and just put it on my face. A bit. And then we're going to actually take the Hourglass Foundation in the shade Bisque. Bisque? Bisque? Some B I S. Q U E bisque, bisque, and we're just gonna. So I just like I said before, can't read clearly, can't pronounce clearly, so we're just gonna. And I think this is a little light for me, so I'm gonna actually mix it with my concealer a little bit to like darken it up. Tucking it up a little bit. I don't feel like I did much for that, but it's fine. And then we're going to take this brush from VS Small. It's a flat piece, flat brush. And we're just gonna. So I am looking a little. A little ghostly over here so I'm actually going to get some more of that concealer and like blend it in a little bit so clearly that's not my shade anymore so that's always fun to find out you know so I'm actually gonna take a little bit more of this concealer I'm actually gonna take a darker one it's gonna be in the shade natural tan neutral tan natural tan one of the shades I don't recall what it says and just take a little bit all over the face to blend it out. I'm the same brush. Just gonna blend it out, darken up the skin a little bit. No, I'm just a hot mess over here. And I said it from the beginning that today is gonna be a hot mess of a makeup day, and I feel like it's unraveling a little bit. Um, but I feel like I'm kind of trying to pull it back together as well. Um, so then we're gonna actually take the concealer now. In the shade bone oh in the shade natural buff neutral buff why do i keep saying natural neutral buff and we're just gonna wow wow queen this is too dark for you now and i'm actually going to mix it with the tart shape tape in fair beige to try to lighten it up the brush? Uh, a wet and wild flash synthetic uh foundation brush So then we go over it with the sharp tape tape. We're going here, 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 here. Thank you, noises outside. I really appreciate it when I'm filming. And we're going to blend, 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 blend. Clean out that wing. So now, okay, we're coming, we're moving. We're going to set the makeup with the same Becca um, Hydra Mist powder. And we're going to take a brush that I can't find no more. Okay, here we go, the Be Small Face Tapered Brush. It's like a pointed brush here. And we're going to just set first the under eyes. We're going to, I'm going to fix that very fit. I don't want it to crease okay and then we're just gonna take the excess a little bit just graze it over the face to set the rest of the face not too much cause I don't I just want to make sure that my under eyes are completely set because that's really important we don't want that to crease throughout the day so now we're actually going to do the under eyes and we're going to take this Morphe brush and it doesn't have a number on it. It's just a red Morphe brush and it's like a pointed paper brush. And we're actually going to go in with, I don't know, 
<sighs> we're gonna actually do two shades so we're first we're gonna go in with radical um which is this shade from the violet boss palette and we're gonna put that on the outer corners of the eye on the outer corner kind of Actually, I'm just going to put it on the whole eye, actually. So listen to that first part. We're going to put it on the whole eye. Then I'm actually going to go in with an, another kind of pointed brush. This is from Crown. It's the C513 brush. And I'm going to take a Biker Shorts, which is like a lighter purple. And I'm going to drag it a little lower and blend it out. Actually, deciding between the... Uh, Sephora purple eyeliner or the Marc Jacob one um, I'm thinking we're gonna do the Marc Jacobs and if anything I'll just switch to the Sephora one because uh, the Marc Jacob is really light hmm. don't I'm not I don't mind it okay so now we're going to contour because a girl looking a little pale today and she needs to not do that. So we're actually going to take the Hula Beauty um, by Benefit. I mean, Hula Beauty. The Hula by Benefit. And we're going to contour me some beige. We're going to start the bottom here. Oh, and I'm using a Wet n Wild angled contour brush, I'm assuming, because it doesn't say anything but Wet n Wild on it. And take it to the side of the face a little bit, a little up top. Just to get some color because homegirl, you looking a little white. And we are going to put some of that. We're still using the tart. And it looks like I have no bottom lashes because I don't have bottom lashes. Sorry, guys. You looking for bottom lashes? It ain't me. So then we're going to take the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine. I really love this blush. I'm more into like very um, cooler tone blushes because I don't like when I look too rosy. I don't know. I don't really like pinky blushes. I like to have like a natural, a natural blush kind of thing going on with my face. So that's what I do. And then we're going to we're gonna go with the highlight. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. We're actually gonna take the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills and the Nicole Guerrero glow kit. I absolutely love, 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 love. We're gonna take a nice um oh for that brush I was using an e.l.f. ultimate blending brush. I don't know a blending brush. I don't know why we're blending with that because it's not my eyes. And then this one is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, but I use it for highlight. So we're actually going to take Glow Getter. Yeah. Well, and we're going to... Oh, well. Get in there. So then... And then we're going to need small little brush and we're gonna put it in the inner corner of the eye in the eye where are you brushes we're just gonna take this one from elf it's a professional eye crease brush and i'm gonna use it for my concealer and we're actually gonna take a different shade we're gonna take um a little bit of mix of kitty cat and forever lit we're just gonna mix a little bit of both to kind of get that inner corner glow and then oh, it's just actually gonna take forever lit And we're just gonna scratch kitty cat this and then we get a little bit of kitty cat on top of it a little bit of kitty cat and we're gonna put it on the brow bone just a little bit to get the whole glow okay now we are going to take a little bit of the bum and we're gonna actually go into the Laura Lee Los Angeles in the shade topless so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. And just gonna. Uh. 
so freaking freaking pretty so then now we're just gonna get the mac fix plus spray okay if you want to come it wasn't coming sorry guys mm. freaking love 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 just take a little brush blend that out make sure it's all setting in there I'm using my foundation blush brush so it doesn't really like alter any colors and just stippling it out a bit and did I run down my neck well I'm running down my neck now just stipple it out a bit and now we're gonna work with sorry I keep looking down guys but that's where my mirror is so now we're just gonna work with my hair we have we're just going to comb it through a little bit wow okay so then we're actually going to go in with the suaves professionals natural shea butter and pure coconut oil is a curling defining cream squirt a good amount of that in my hand let's just keep that upside down uh by good amount i mean a shit ton because i put a lot I didn't think that through. Okay, it's fine. We're just gonna put it all in the in the hair. And then, believe it or not, we need a little bit more. And we're just gonna use one hand of it to go on the top of my hair. And then we'll smudge out that, and then we'll just use it for the roots. I mean, not the roots, I'm sorry, the end. It's not your turn yet. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna comb through it with our fingers. I don't like when my hair is too heavy. Well, when you put too much product, it gets too heavy. So you don't wanna put too much product in the hair. I do actually, since my hair is um, bleached at the end, it does need a little bit more at the ends than it would at the rest though because of the fact that it's damaged. So we just make sure we put a little bit more in there. Now we take some on the other side. I feel like I took a lot less after the first incident. Uh, and then we just put it in. More. I have lots and lots and lots of hair, guys. I'm sorry. I feel like there we go. And then I just push it back and I let nature take its course with this. And then I just Basically, touch around, see if anything feels a little dry, add a little bit more there, which is the back mostly. So that's it for the hair and we just let nature take its course and let it air dry so that's it for the hair and then now I have to get dressed unfortunately give me a minute guys the fact not the shoes not the shoes but this is the final look I'm gonna throw some sneakers on um, but I keep my sneakers outside the house so you can't really see them on because I usually just put them on and go um, but this is the look once the hair dries up it's gonna blow up the eyes mm. I mean it's a lot better from where we started because you know when we started we was looking like a whole show this mirror is a whole show that needs to be wiped down but I'll do that when I get off work because I'm kind of running a little late just a little late so I gotta run Hey guys, I'm running out of my house right now because I'm really, really late. Um, not really late, but I'm running a little late. 
Um, but don't forget, if you like the video and you want to see more, to subscribe to my channel, like the button so I know you like it, leave a comment, tell me what you want to see. Um, just let me know. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, I hope you like it and my hair is looking a little dry already. <sighs> so I didn't put enough. So this is where I keep my hair tied because if it starts looking a little crazy, it's going to go right up. Alright, thank you guys so, so, so much. I'll see you guys next time.